now we can tell us on auto this is another episode of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back and today's episode we enter a new warp zone. A warp room, sorry. This one I think is a uh it's a it's kind of a strange warp room, but it does feature some really cool levels, such as uh, another sewer level. The sewer levels are fucking great. In Crash 2. I gotta point that out in Crash 2. I love the music, I love the. I love how it sounds. I fucking love PlayStation 1. God damn. You know what? I could have. I could live totally. I could totally fucking live in a world where. world. where gaming didn't progress fast PS1 and we're still getting PS1 games to this day. PlayStation 1 is the only console that we could. And we would be getting games that look like this. Crash Bandicoot for it's about time. Which one's like Crash for you? Let's see if I can get the graphics to look at it. I always thought, what if you made a PS1 style game where the graphics are very fucking simple and blurry and don't take up much space, right? Animations are very simple. But you make the game fucking huge. Like the open world, the society. Bigger than the fucking real world, or some shit like that. Minecraft size, fucking real world. Because currently, Minecraft's world that it generates is bigger than Earth, so that's cool. Yeah, what if you made a game that looks like like the PS1 game, put it on PS5, and make it fucking enormous with a million fucking different, like, in depth mechanics that work together really well? Maybe. They don't need to work too, too well. As long as they don't work against each other, that's nice. Then you have an open world, a long fucking story, epic fucking narrative. I love, I love that shit. I mean, people make games like that that are long, in depth, and very, very deep mechanically, that are like 16 bit or something, you know? Why don't someone make, why don't someone make something like that, but in the style of a 3D piece one? I'd buy it. Actually, that depends. Like, if it if it fucking ticked off all these boxes I said, or at least most of them, I would probably buy it. But I don't know if I would fucking like it. Actually, it could be that. But then, if it, for example, it would just be like an MMO, and I don't fucking like MMOs very much. Happy MMO. So an MMO is the you know, world the size of like real world, so imagine if there would be like areas in an MMO game where straight up they're so far away from each other that the players who start their game in this part of the world might never and might never encounter the players who start their their journey in a different part of the world because the world is so fucking good but then you have to take into account well how would the story play out if we would take you little or fucking days travel from one end of the map to the other. The only solution I can see is that each player would kind of go on their own adventure, maybe vaguely guided by the different world. I don't know how the fuck you pull that off. It sounds actually difficult. Fucking came to a room full of lives to lose my own. How ironic. How moronic. Video stoppy. Colors vintage. Maybe it's going on. Crash up the time, friend. It's good. I like it. I love it. It's, it's a very simple game. It's not very... It's not very fucking advanced. As a kid, I just... I, crash up the time. I feel like the game should be going the other way around. Should we see how the fuck am I supposed to get past it? Can I attack it? Did I want to phone it? It's a choice. Why do it? Stop up on lag. Not to me. How much nitro? Look, these nitro traits are standing weirdly. Maybe I should punch them because they might be a fucking secret. But 
Actually, I found another giveaway uh, later. It's actually in this world. That secret that I keep talking about. It's, it's um, you can tell that these, there's something off about this thing that you can touch because they're not actually bouncing or making any sounds. I think, unless they are, if that's the case, then that fuck those fucking nitro crates, I think they're garbage and a bunch of filthy liars. Seems it's low battery fall. I feel like Steam battery is lasting, I don't know, a reasonable amount of time. Depends on what happens then, maybe. It's, like, it's almost like I did it before. I don't think I did it, so... did I? Am I so stupid to fucking die like that as a joke? No, I don't think I did it as a joke. I think I'm the joke, dude. That's what I did. Anyway, I guess I'm going to the army. This time I ain't going to the, the army that I've been to, I'm going to like a branch. Basically, going to fucking limb. Most of the full one, you know? I don't know what you call it. The one I've been in before was more like rolling the kind of territory to defense that And now I'm just going to the normal one. <laughs> And I was a bit fucking stressed out, you know? Each time I went to this fucking one month of training, I would be stressed out, and now I have to fucking go there every goddamn day of the week. I mean, five days a week. It's like, well, no, you fucking paying me twice of what I would have been paid in any other fucking job I would apply for in this fucking shit all of a town. Not to mention, any job that would pay a little bit bigger would probably require me to finish some. The fuck knows kind of college. I haven't even finished the whatever the fuck college it shows. Because I got higher education for people who get off my back. About that hip. Pick me up. And that's kind of a shitty motivator, you know? Just to get people to shut the fuck up. What the fuck is wrong? I think this time I actually did it as a joke. I don't fucking know. No other fucking way I could explain this. It's like, it's like episodes where I play just flawlessly and I fucking pull, pull off some awesome shit and then I do shit like this. Maybe I was playing really late to the night. Now I can't check how late I was playing because I can check when I rendered the video. But not when I... when I played the game. I think I recorded like Crash 1, 2, and 3 and, and Crash Team Racing and then I started rendering them so... I could assume that it was a little bit a couple of days before, but might have not been, this footage might have been even older than three years. I could have recorded it, and just kind of kept it on the hard drive, thinking, man, I should finally fucking edit those crash plans. And then I did it like after a couple of years. So this footage is four fucking years old. I wasn't at my previous job when I was recording this, I think I was like, I don't know. I was more fresh out of high school and I think I was doing that army thing that I just mentioned that I quit like as of today I guess. I mean I quit it before. I quit it earlier but I uh, didn't fucking do that. Like, and you know what? I fucking talked to someone from from that fucking repeat my center. Like when I took a break between last and before the last episode, and yeah, apparently I will have to go back to the same fucking place I just went to today to give back my equipment to then um, then I'll have to go back there to pick up new equipment that will probably be the fucking exact same the same fucking place I just went today, where they fucking get some extra people apart to get through. I love how this fucking fuck works. It's the awful dark and Kind of a weird theme that this portal has. Like, what is the theme? A mine? Mine shaft? 
like a lava on the bottom and the whole place is walking like this. Great. A great great. I love the port. Great, I love all the port. The previous one was cool, it was in a sewer. There was a lot of water in it. Which I always found funny. Then like the submerged yourself in water with the ground. Look at this! I love these stages actually. It's like it's those stages where you run away from boulders or bears, except this time you can actually spare those guys and fuck them. Okay. And look at that, they're piranha plants, but they don't hit you, they spit fucking grenades. Which I actually don't know, know what the fuck that's about, but why do they spit grenades? They use explosive speed, is that a thing in real life? Are there plants that do that? And there are red piranha plants, they don't eat you, but they just spit. Not the sound they make, but they spit. This whole thing is hilarious. Check it out, the mines that don't actually do damage to you, they can't slow you down. Unless now they do damage. Now they don't. Get rid of it. So, it's funny. Damn, why do I always fucking do that? Not be risking my life over some bullshit fucking epic job. Yeah, it's like the boulder chase level or the bear chase level. Backwards. It's almost like what these levels were meant to be played as, except, except it's not. Also, these fucking totem guys are funny. Now it's mad and it's glad. So it's mad and glad. Also, I like how it's also like a variation of the first level themes, which are set in a jungle. Except these ones are set in like a pine wood forest. Like pine trees on the side. And some of them are like a zombie. Area. What if it's slam him at a different fucking angle than what you wanted me to do, game? Fuck off. That was my fault. That was though. Hey, there's only two of these levels. This one and the next one, which is also in this warp room. That's why this warp room is so unique. It has the only two levels in this game that have this kind of theme. And then you never have like another third one. The last warp room is all side by team. And it's also the only warp room that has two levels that are beautiful levels. And they have a completely different control scheme than normal Crash 2 levels. See, like the previous two, sure, there are, I guess, people smaller levels. Beautiful levels. Because you pretty much go to the full level of a bear. It's so much fucking fun. Unlike those hard levels in Crash 1 or the fucking. I actually think baller levels in Crash 2 are way better than the hard levels, which that's not surprising. But I also think they're way better than the poor R levels in Crash 4. That's probably because I just don't know, how to get some kind of a huge. I'm not some fucking die hard fan of Crash 3. Stupid. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Why not? I'm gonna go back to something. Oh, okay. And... What the fuck I've been saying before I start saying some new shit? What about levels? In a PC game? No. What is the Xbox channel now? Oh, wait. It is. Oh, I missed it. I think it's like a, like a secret passage if you get up there. Oh, that's how I'm supposed to get on this. Now I'm gonna kill myself and get out of the bonus stage. I think I was standing here trying to figure out a way to do it. What did I just fuck up? I was supposed to jump with those, but they were still standing all around. It took me a moment to fucking figure that out. And I forgot all about the bonus stage. 
crash. Dobra, pretty cool, I think. Oh yeah, you can fall at smaller levels, beautiful levels, I guess, but the beautiful levels you get later are even more beautiful life at what I don't know, but if you want to jump off the edge, you will not fucking can make it. If I break one break, I still can't make it. See, even looking at this right now, I'm like, wait, I thought I got a good idea of what I was trying to do, jump off the bouncy crate onto the first tower, from the first tower to the second one, and then jump on whatever path that was up there. But now it seems like there's only two fucking solutions. I wonder, I wonder. That's where I can move around the different ways now. Like, I think that's why they put the TNT right there. It's like it's supposed to be on a timer. You have to access that platform from further into the bonus stage. It doesn't seem like you do. And if I get on the bonus stage. See, there were like iron crates up there. What the fuck? Did I just like miss something? Like, I don't know how the fuck I was supposed to get up there. And the no death platform is gone because I fucking died multiple fucking times throughout the fucking level and there's a blue pack up there. Which makes funny sounding beats. The death animation would have been fucking hilarious, but I would intentionally rather not show. I wish you could get rid of these beakers though. Stop them fucking away. And you just have to, you have to run away from me. Then I jumped over that shit. Oh, and here's a fucking awesome mechanic. If you spin on the red surface, you can actually climb under the ground, which I always found hilarious. Especially his attack. When you're on the ground, just that I pulled out the arm and you just did it. It breaks everything with this walking. I think you can use the grenade first, but I'm not taking my word on it and let it be. Oh, but you can use the beast. That always made me think that these levels are just covered in a carpet. I think what their intention is that this is a softer ground that Crash can dig into because the event is actually be dig in the ground like a lot of fucking particulars and loaded fucking animals like that because you know, you sleep and no holes in the ground and you don't. What do you think? What do you think hedgehogs hang out all day before in the evening they fucking go on a patrol around town? Hang out in these fucking tiny little holes and you keep themselves and then they. I the rest of the day, I think it's a teleport on that platform where this plant is standing. This plant is standing in a very strangely placed position. Kind of looks like I finished the level. All of these guys keep on the top of the I want to whack you with a giant mallet. And I find it funny because he walks towards you. What's the worst you even know he's got like an invis invisible barrier that he can't actually pass me. Man, I just gonna suck at this fucking game. Starting on 24th, stress, you fell into the next episode, bye.